those of you who are relatives of Kim Muswat in Swaziland, you must tell him you will never know peace for as long as there is no democracy in Swaziland. The EFF is going to fight until the people of Swaziland realize their freedom. We are not free as long as Swaziland is not free. The day Swaziland becomes free, we will be free. The day Swaziland celebrates its freedom day, we will also celebrate our freedom day. When you say freedom for you, what about the people of Swaziland? Remember, the people of Swaziland fight along, alongside the people of Swaziland because we are Swaziland and Swaziland is us. We are one thing. Zano PF has destroyed what was a promising land of Zimbabwe and the current leader of Zimbabwe is clueless like the South African leader. They are the same like their twins. So the people of Zimbabwe we want to make a plea. Please, when you are here in South Africa, don't worry, you are at home. But when there are elections at home, go there in your numbers. Go and vote and remove that nonsense that is happening in Zimbabwe. And come back if you want to come back. You cannot just fold your hands. The people of Zimbabwe must rise here in South Africa and go and vote for a proper government in Zimbabwe. If they want to come back, they are welcome, no problem. But let's help each other so that there is a proper government in Zimbabwe and will bring a proper government in South Africa. We become one big family. Let's not be comfortable. And think, no, all is well uh, as long as we are in South Africa. Uh -uh. Let's not forget, as Zimbabweans, that we've got a duty at home to deliver a progressive government that will respect human rights, that will make sure the economy of Zimbabwe grows, that will make sure it defeats poverty and unemployment. Because a progressive and developing Zimbabwe is a solution to the problems of South Africa. So we want to help Africans who are helping themselves. Fighters, let's go and spread the message of African unity. Because the unity of Africa is a unity of black people. And the enemy doesn't want to see black people united. How govern about Rua? How will Alan talk about Kassela Kaufel? Then you must know there must be some truth in what I'm doing. Because Abanya can need. So the unity of Africa offends them. Therefore, we must make sure that we unite the continent of Africa. And the unity of Africa does not threaten us, it actually makes us to grow and become a better continent. Comrades, I want to make a clarion call to my brother and the president of Rwanda not to engage in what he's trying to do of a modern slavery. President Paul Kagame is one of the respected leaders in our continent. But what he's doing with the United Kingdom saying there will be an exchange of immigrants to from united kingdom to rwanda and then they will give him money that is a modern exchange of slavery it reminds us of painful times of slavery and president kagame we are making a call for you to relook into that decision you cannot exchange immigrants who majority are africans and blacks for money our people can no longer be for sale no one 
must ever think that for a second I can trade a human being. We are making a plea. If there is a home for those migrants, President Kagame, go and fetch them in the United Kingdom and bring them to Rwanda for free. Let us not do what uh, the colonizers want us to do. UK has never respected us and it will never respect us. But it is our leaders who allow these people to do what they are doing.